Should you start an online course? I'm going to tell you the answer is yes. I've monetized my YouTube channel in a lot of different ways. And if you're curious about how I make money with my YouTube channel, I'll link to a video over here. But one thing I didn't talk about in that video because I had just started this journey was online courses. And I have learned that an online course is an amazing way to make amazing passive income online. And it's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. If you have an idea for a course, because you have a lot of knowledge you can share, you've already done the hard part because the hard part is accruing years and years and years of knowledge that you have that you can teach someone else. So once you've done all that, and if you're looking at this video, I'm going to assume you've done all that. I promise you, you've done the hardest part already. So today I want to tell you a few steps you can take to create your online course and make, I'm going to tell you this year, I'm projecting to make tens of thousands of dollars over just a few courses that I'm hosting online. And that to me is really exciting money considering this whole online thing I do is just my side gig. Are you ready? Step number one is to create an outline for your course. So I just open up a Word document every time I have an idea for a course and I create an outline that looks like this. I break things up into separate modules because I know a lot of my users might not be consuming my entire course in one sitting. So each module builds on the last module. So the information is kind of cumulative as my users go and I don't want to waste their time, you know, kind of waiting it in my course. I really just want everything to have a purpose and a reason for them to learn the material. Step number two is to choose the platform on which you're going to host your course. This is kind of a big decision. You got a few options out there. In the end, we decided on Thinkific. Uh, we looked at Kajabi, we looked at Teachable, but what really stood out for us with Thinkific was that you could host three courses for free on Thinkific and like make money with a free trial of Thinkific, which was super attractive because we weren't sure, you know, about this new business venture we were entering. And while we were willing to invest time into creating the course, we didn't want to invest a ton of money into it because we didn't know if it was going to be successful or not. And literally in the first three days, we could tell we had a winner on our hands with our first course. So Thinkific was awesome. Now we ended up integrating Thinkific into my website. If you go over to jenjager.com, you can see how we've kind of worked worked with Thinkific within our WordPress site and click around there and get some ideas if you'd like. But if you didn't even want to build a website for your courses, Thinkific works as a website and as a landing page for your courses. It is so turnkey. You can integrate it with Google Analytics so you can keep track of how people are finding your Thinkific courses. They host all of the content. They take a lot of different types of courses. You could do something that's all text. You could do video. You could do a webinar. You could do audio files. You could do a mix of all of these things in your course and Thinkific supports it all. They collect email addresses for, from your users and share them with you, which is amazing. You could see how far into the course that your users are so you can keep track of their progress. You can issue certificates when they complete the courses. It is so full service on Thinkific and we love it. They even take care of all the credit card processing for you. Now we did end up upgrading to the pro plan because we had so much success with our courses, but we did know that if you're on the free trial of Thinkific, they use Stripe credit card processing, but we actually got a few emails from people asking if we accepted PayPal. And I kind of got the feeling that for every like one person who took the time to email me and say, do you accept PayPal? There was probably like five or 10 who wanted to buy a course, but didn't want to use Stripe. They really wanted to use PayPal. So we switched to the pro plan that let us take PayPal as well. And I would say 50% of our purchases right now are through PayPal. So I'm really glad that we upgraded. It was totally worth it. Step number three is to create your content. Now you want to do this after you've selected your platform, because once you get to know your platform, you'll see all the different things you can do with your content. You want to take advantage of that. So some parts of your course might be video. They may be text. One thing I loved about Thinkific was for our final cut rockstar course, where I teach you how to edit on final cut. I actually could upload tons of media to Thinkific. So when someone buys the course, they get to download 
video files, they get to download graphics and all sorts of things that they use to follow along with me in that Final Cut course. So that really truly was amazing. Step number four is to determine your pricing. Now, this is something that might take a little bit of trial and error, playing with the price points to see where you get the most response. But remember, the name of the game is volume. This is work that might take you a week to do today, but that's gonna pay off for you for years to come. So you don't wanna price things too, too high, but you do wanna show what the value is of the course. For instance, I have a few different courses on Thinkific. You know, one's like an hour long, in-depth course that's at one price. Another one is almost four hours, so that's obviously at a higher price. I have another course that's more of a webinar, so that's actually our lowest price course. So, you know, your different courses might have different price points, and you might want to play around with the pricing to find that sweet spot, but once you find it, you're good. The other thing that I love about Thinkific, um, once we upgraded to the pro plan, we're able to do specials and run sales on our courses, so we can email people who maybe signed up for one course or signed up on our website but never purchased a course, we can offer them like promo codes to come back and make more purchases. So that's awesome too. It feels like a real online business with Thinkific. Step number five is to market, market, market. If no one knows about your course, they're not gonna sign up for it. Now, because I'm on YouTube and I have this like pretty sizable platform, I can create content that gives people a tidbit of what my course might be. And if they wanna learn more, I direct them over to my website to purchase my Thinkific courses. But you could go other routes as well. You could do uh, pay-per-click advertising, let's say on Facebook, or run pre-roll ads ads on YouTube, you could run ads on LinkedIn. So there's other more traditional ways to market. But I think if you're someone who's like kind of an expert in your field and you have a business and you're just kind of doing these courses as a side gig, I would recommend a content marketing strategy. Content marketing is something I talk a lot about on my channel. And it's amazing because you can create content that really helps people, but then entices them to find more. So to either hire you for your business. You can direct them to purchase a course. You can do affiliate marketing to them. So content marketing, in my opinion, is a great way to earn extra money outside of your business. So if you're interested in anything about content marketing, I do have a playlist about it. You want to learn more. I'm going to link to that over here. Good luck with creating your course. It is something I wish we had done sooner and it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be because of platforms like Thinkific that do so much of the heavy lifting for you. You really just need to know your topic and create that outline and everything else is really simple. Good luck to you. I wish you much success.